Hello! What time is it for you at Seeky? Uh, 2 12 a.m. Drop you a second ago. It looks like I dropped frames a second ago. Maybe my fucking. Maybe my Steam is updating. Are you Yagami? <gasps> yeah? Who's asking? I have a present for you. What is it? I don't know. Some guy told me to give it to you. He said he was a friend. Uh oh. Oh, and he said to open it right away. Two down. Uh oh. What? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Wonderful Yagami song. Such stunning reflexes. You even avoided doing any property damage. What? Well, did you enjoy my present? It was a it was given to me as a gift by an old business partner of mine. Who the fuck are you? Who the hell are you? No, oh, pardon my rudeness. This is my car. Koga? Oh. You don't know me? Hmm. I see. I see. In that case, perhaps I should start over. Oh, no. My name is Matsuhisa Koga, one of the Keihin Four. <gasps> I came to see what all the fuss is about. And introduce you to my way of doing things. How am I getting fucking jumped at my house? You know, our reputation has taken quite a hit thanks to your antics. That being the case, it falls to me to put a stop to this farce. You guys are the farce. <laughs> Enough talk. They Show got me what you can do, Yagami-san. Went and bought food. I think I'm 1 HP though. Yep. Kick to the back. Yes. What? It's got flashbangs. What the fuck? He's throwing grenades and they're just exploding on me. And I can't even see him throw them. Oh my god. What's he doing? <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? I don't have a med kit. My God! Let's finish this. Oh! Oh my God! That was close. Not even close, sorry. Yeah. You're as strong as they said you'd be. 
It seems fortune is not on my side today. Thought they were bluffing. I surrender. You win. Huh? Already? In the business world, one must always know when to withdraw. If Matsuhisa Koga lost to some thug on the street, our reputation would be in tatters. My business partners would never take me seriously again. I don't know why they would to begin with. Now I must retire. Until the day I get revenge. Farewell, Yagami-san. See ya. My judgment vod's broken. The Can't one from last night is, yeah. Alone. I fixed it, though. Sugiura. Doesn't remember a single person he met. Who, me? What happened with Kaito-san? Yeah, I, I wipe all okay? memories. Doctor said he'll be back on his feet in a few days. We took him to some back alley joint. Hush hush, you know? Didn't realize you had those kinds of connections. Actually, he was a friend of Kaito-san's. Sounded like they go way back. Couldn't you have just gone to a hospital? That's what I thought. Kaito-san was pretty insistent, though. Said he didn't have time to deal with a bullet in the gut. That's Kaito. How'd everything go with you? I heard the Cure Club burned down. Yeah, things were tough. <laughs> Sounds like you could use some rest then. Heading out then? I the just figured I'd stop good. by to tell you about Kaito san. Now that I know Audio you're safe six. too, I'm gonna go pass out at home. You do that. Good night. The hell is that? Thanks for trying the karage. The wasabi was spread out pretty unevenly. I'll make sure to be more careful. Try to whip up some okonomiyaki. I had some during my trip to Sodombori and it tasted so good I never forgot it. So I did my homework and learned how to make a pretty neat mean okonomiyaki. Taste it and you'll swear it's the real deal. See, you shut the fuck up and... Meow. This tastes delicious. Wow, I'm so healed. Delicious, 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 or delicious. Rash on the sofa. Did I wake you up? You need something? The moles claimed another victim. Another Kyore clan Yakuza. Huh? What? Head to I the Matsugane family office if you can. Ow. All right, I'll be right over. He pulled out the razor, parentheses, trademark, headphones. Whoa. Glad I could be of service. What do you mean, pay my rent? My controllers fucking itself what's happening the bluetooth in my house is getting dicked you think it's my toaster oven i did activate my toaster oven <laughs> unironically need <made> shungite <laughs> what the fuck man the words for being are extracts yeah They've already ID'd the victim. It's even good though. Mafuyu. Satoshi Shioya, captain of the Kyore clan. You knew him, yes? Mm -hmm. If it was really the mole, 
That means his eyes have been gouged out. So I hear. I haven't confirmed it for myself. Kind of chicken? You don't. Frozen fried chicken? <sighs> Who's handling the case? Karoiwa again? Yes. He's right over there. Speaking of which, Yagami kun, what happened last night with the interrogation? Listen, Mafuyu. Toast Robin. Hmm? It's Karoiwa. He's the mole. Apparently, he and Hamura have been working together for years. At first, he was just a dirty cop. Not too different from Ayabe, I guess. But eventually, he found murder was profitable. And that's not all. Shono from the ADDC is the one who's been hiring him to do his dirty laundry. And these corpses with their eyes gouged out? Human experiments, every one of them. All for 89. This won't chicken. Yo, chat. And I just confronted Shono the other day. Said I was on to his insane tests. And now there's a new body like nothing's changed at all. I can only see one way this shakes out. There's going to be more deaths before this is all over. Even when he's this close to being all but caught, he's not going to stop for anything. There's no doubt now. So now? Shono, he... He seems like this quiet, harmless scientist when you see him on the job. Except... 89 changes who he is. Makes the guy a monster. Completing his drug will save millions, not to mention their families. It would change the whole world. With all that power protecting Dr. Shono, he'd risk everything he has. It's us against anyone that money can buy. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What? What the fuck? What are you going to do? Why not walk away? Wish I could. Matsugani san's death can't go unanswered. He deserves closure. They won't get away with this. Now, behind closed doors. The Matsugani family and the Mole mount an assault, and the Kamurocho ambitions of the Kyore clan crumble. Betrayed by his inner circle, Hamura becomes a target himself, so he reveals to Yagami the Mole's true identity. He is Kamurocho's organized crime division detective, Kuroiwa. The man who took Matsugani's life falls under the shield of 89's powerful benefactors. There's actually a totally real they held scenario. His funeral at Tojo Clan headquarters. It was an intimate service. What if they did this shit for COVID, too? The dude? Matsugani family would have passed to Hamura, but with him missing, it was all but dissolved. It wasn't like he'd made much of an impact on the Tojo brass to begin with. But to Genda Sensei, he was an old friend of over 40 years. And then there was Kaito-san, who joined up after finishing middle school. And Higashi, too. 
When Kaito got expelled, protecting the boss became his personal mission. All of us knew exactly who was responsible for taking him from us. Uh-oh. It was just a matter of finding the proof. What is the proof? Shintani's dead, killed by Ayabe, so they claim. This is the pre-trial conference for that case. Basically, we sit in here and hammer out the flow of the trial. Try to keep things as simple as possible for the jury, you know. According to the law, both the prosecution and the defense have to submit all their evidence before even going to court. You can't burst in mid-trial with new info like they do in the movies. We've been going in circles for a while now. We'll never get anywhere like this. You say that, yes. In other words, we need to make sure all our cards are in order, then show the other side our hand. The rifling marks on the bullet are unshakable proof of guilt. You really want to plead innocent with such a severe disadvantage? How does the defense respond? You can also bargain for a lesser sentence if you so desire. No, we still contend that Detective Ayabe was set up. Our stance remains unchanged. Seriously? I feel like so it was Kuroiwa all along. They won't be able to save him. Everything makes sense now. From a bad sentence. Are there ever any warning signs? Nah. This might have nothing to do with it, but... I heard a story about the guy once. Go on. Back when he was starting out, his boss on the force was working as a Tojo clan go-between on the side. In exchange for kickbacks and whores, of course. Kind of shit you see every day in Kamarocho. Kickbacks well, and whores? One day, whores. that boss went and threw himself off a roof. Right when they were gonna haul him in, too. Guess some goody two-shoes on the force went and ratted him out. One of his own co-workers? Was it Kuroiwa? Now, funny enough, they found the snitch with a noose around his neck just a day later. So it was a double suicide? What the hell? From what I've heard, it's possible that hanging was actually a homicide. Oh. Maybe, just maybe, someone wanted revenge on the snitch. After the dust cleared, a new dirty cop had risen from the ashes, with his boss's connections and then some. He's been in bed with the Yakuza ever since. Turns out this guy's our top detective, too. And you're saying that's Kuroiwa? Hey, I'm just telling you what I heard. You're the one who asked about warning signs. Their top detective. In bed. Let's split up, Hoshinokun. Sticking with me is just gonna put you in more danger. Come on, I'll be fine. I'm not a little kid. I know that. Either way, I'm done for today. Oh, okay then. I'll see you around, Yagami-san. Yagami-san. Hattori? Someone's got eyes on your place. Smells like it does when a journalist stakes out a shoot. Uh-oh. How can you tell? Eh, I have a nose for these things. Itchy nose. So? What do you want? Not me. Chairman Kajihira. He needs to know what's up with your investigation. Honmarwen's burnt to a crisp. Shioya-san's dead. The chairman is very interested to know what happened. No surprise there. Am I gonna tell him? Ah. Uh. <laughs> nice work. A police detective cum serial murderer. If you're telling the truth, come. There's a trail of death following 89 every step of the way. Huh? It all leads back to the human experiments. The 
patient Shono killed Wakusan, Emi Terasawa, Hashki from the ADDC, Shintani, every single one of them. Maybe so, but without evidence, this is nothing more than a well-crafted hypothesis. Believe me, I know that already. All right, I've heard what you have to say, but Chairman Kajihira still wants to meet with you. I just told you everything I know. Then you can tell it to him, too. I'm little more than a messenger, after all. And if I refuse? Listen, Yagami-san. Chairman Kajihira isn't your enemy. He may even have details you wouldn't otherwise be privy to. True. I suggest you milk that for what it's worth. Oh, and put a good word in for me, huh? If you don't mind. <laughs> Are you free to meet now? You'll need to bring Kaito-san, too, of course. It seems his bullet wound is almost fully healed. What? You really do know everything. How do you know? What can I say? Comes with the job. Anyway, grab Kaito-san and head to Kikunoya. Kikunoya? I hear Patriarch Matsugane loved the place. Coincidentally, so does the chairman. Goodbye, Yagami-san. All right. Getting a flag to go upstairs for some reason. Oh, he's here. Oh. Yo, I'm gonna make some coffee. You want a cup? Hey, hey, aren't you supposed to be recovering? Is it at nighttime? Uh, it's fine. Come on, drink with me. Well, if you say so. And by the way, Hattori just dropped by. The journalist? Yeah, apparently Chairman Kajihira is asking for us. Coffee. What I hear. Oh, my. Kajihira is in a pretty tough spot right now. God. <laughs> Chairman Koba from the Kyorei clan is putting the pressure on. I mean, their Captain Shioya just got his eyes gouged out. Never would have happened if Kajihira hadn't shipped him up to Kamurocho. Yeah, I guess so. First, a couple of their rookies die in Kamurocho. Then a captain turns up dead. Chairman Koba is probably freaking the fuck out. I guess Kajihira's calling us to fix it then? Dunno. We'll find out when we get there. We? I'm sick of we, sitting we. around watching Kuroiwa, man. We're not getting anywhere with this shit. It's time we try something new. Hell, I'll do whatever it takes to avenge Matsugane-san. Damn right. Let's roll, talk. Damn right. You going to Kikunoya? All right. I push X, he just gets punched. Let's hit it. It's actually pitch black. Complete night time. And we just had a cup of coffee? Oh, that sounds like me, actually. Cool. Welcome. I've been waiting for you. Long time no see. It's truly horrible what happened to Matsugane-san. Yes. To his memory. Chairman Kajihira, I assume you've already heard about 89? Yes. Hattori-san told me everything. The incident three years ago was a human experiment gone awry, huh? I'm impressed you figured that out. <laughs> Quite impressed. I heard about Shinpei Okubo, too. The murder you let loose upon the world didn't actually kill anyone. Yeah. Emmy died at the hands of Shono, the 89 researcher. Yep. I'm not so sure about that. Do you have any proof? No? If I did, I'd be making you eat those words. Come now. No fighting. My old heart can't handle the stress. Hold on a sec. If you already know what's going on, why'd you go and call us out here? What do you really want? 
<laughs> You're sharper than you look. To be honest, I have a bit of a problem on my hands. Oh, yeah? The Curé Chairman Koba has been getting on my case. He wants me to put a button on all this murder business. Not a that I can button? blame him. His successor just had his eyes gouged out after all. What's your point? I want you to bring an end to these killings. That detective, Karoiwa, is behind it all, right? What do you take us for, assassins? <laughs> I have confidence that the two of you can do what I ask. What do you say? I'll give you a handsome reward. He's as much of a Yakuza as any Yeah, I think we'll be going now. All right, all right. It was a joke. It was a joke. Though the <laughs> Joking! Plan has been getting on my case. So you were half joking. <sighs> the real reason I called the two of you here was to say thanks in Harshki's place. Hmm? It must be frustrating for him to look down on this world just to see people say he died in a drunken brawl. But you saw through that false narrative. You have a feeling he's not the mole? Once we have proof and crush AD9 Karoywa? for good, he'll finally be avenged. And you'll finally make good on your hundred billion yen investment. Not that I care either way. <laughs> so, Yagami-san, what comes next? Well, Ayabe's trial is coming up, right? We'll use that stage to bring the real crimes into the spotlight. That'll also mean lifting the veil on 89. Hmm. Okobo will be in the clear, too. Interesting. I think you're still missing some evidence, though. You're not wrong. We don't know where Hamura is, either. Well, then, what now? You want to expose the secrets of 89, there's one minute to chase down. I'm gonna keep going after Kuroiwa. Stay on his tail till I get a solid lead. You may be waiting a long time, then. He's not the type of man to slip up. I know. It'll take some time for sure. But there's no other way. I'm not sure you have the time you think you do. What do you mean? It won't be long until Shinpei Okubo is executed. <laughs> what? So no. say my connections, at least. There's a top secret list stating which death row inmates are potential execution candidates for the near future. Apparently, Okubo is on that list. Once the Minister of Justice rubber stamps the execution, it's over. What? But why? 23. Someone must have pressured the Ministry to put Okubo on the list. On the list? Damn it. Really? Welcome back. If I don't do something soon. I'm gonna lose my chance forever. If it were me, I'd try going after an easier target than Kuroiwa. And who would that be? Look, this is an article of mine that got scrapped. Researcher mired in scandal, millions of yen paid in hush money? kido -san. Really? His womanizing ways are actually pretty well known. Guess he's really cut loose since they announced 89. Underneath the lab coat, he's nothing but a shameless pervert. If anything, he's the one you should be going after. No way am I getting into the ADDC, though. Not now. Eh, then you'll just have to lure him out. That's the only way to get a cautious quarry to leave its nest. And how are we gonna do that? Offer him a delicious meal. For Keto, that would be... A woman. A beautiful one, ideally. Oh? A woman? a woman? Do we have one of those? Well, that was the last place I expected to get any good advice. Yeah, he had a point, though. Keto might be our best bet for evidence. Evidence that could reveal the truth about 89. We're gonna have to drag him out of the ADDC first. Hattori suggested seducing him to Kamrocho. A honey trap, huh? I guess it's time for Salri-san to do her thing again. Salri-san? 
Pokemon Roach's number one hostess has a few more tasks up her, sorry, tricks up her sleeve. <sighs> yeah, I'll ask her tomorrow. Well, I'm all out of gas for tonight. See you tomorrow, man. Hey. Nice weather today. Ah, oh, perfect timing. Managed to lose the keys to the builder's roller sh building's roller shutter, and now I can't get inside. That's unfortunate. I'm not really sure what to do. Need to get it open. Doesn't take a detective to figure that out. Now, he help, help me get this lock open. Just like a crime drama, all you need is a knife and a roll of duct tape. Doubt it's actually that simple. What show are you referencing anyway? Doesn't matter. Can you at least try something? Nice. It's open. I knew you could do it. Thanks a bunch. No problem. Mm. Three months rent? Chotto. Not running a youth hostel in hostel here. Do you know, know the building actually costs money to maintain? Mm. Amazing, I know. Gives me an idea. You're an able-bodied young man. You seem to be good at opening locks. Why don't I introduce you to a locking mm. smith? I think you can take a part-time chair, you know, to earn some extra money, like the kind you owe me. Do I have to? You sure do. In fact, I'm calling him right now. I've got a strike with the iron's hot. Hey, hold the phone. On a sudden call, you see there's this tenant who lives in my building. What a pleasure it is to see you. You see the one you told me about? Yep, the series you got me. Who's that? Gamioka san? You're looking at Toshiro Koizuka, one of the finest locksmiths in Kamarocho. But I just call him Koizuka. Koizuka. My pleasure's all mine. Regarding the details, just ask Koizuka. He hope he doesn't work you to the bone. All right, start explaining yep. things. How things work around here. Whenever you get a job request, I'll pass it on. Then you'll head over to the client's place and open the lock. That's all there is to it. You can open the locks, right? Yeah, good. I'm in my shop most hours. Come by when you're ready to get to work. Where's the shop? It's on the north side of Central Avenue. Look it up the map on the map. Yep. So by doing the food quest, I unlocked the locksmith quest. Crazy. Recruit Saori again. Sorry. Salary. You doing all right? Why would you need the dog? Oh, Yag. Oh. Sorry, son. Yes. Uh -oh. I have another favor I want to ask you. Can you get all pretty oh. for us? <laughs> Think you can handle it? Depends on what it is. Oh, wait, am I responding as her? Tell me what it is. You sure? Yes. All right, then. We need you to set a honey trap for Keto. A what? It's when you seduce a man to get information. Ooh! And you're sure you want me? <laughs> How could you ask her to do that? <laughs> you can't be serious. Look, we need to get to Kido somehow. Well, I don't know any girls, this so... This is the best shot we have of luring him into Kamurocho. Don't be ridiculous. Asking her to be a hostess is one thing, but you can't make her sleep with that creep. Hold on there, Hoshino-kun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Isn't that what a honey trap is? I never said that. You don't have to listen to them, sorry san I mean, just talking about this is practically entrapment. Not to be rude, but I asked Saori-san, not you. Why do you care so much anyway? Yeah, hold up. Because I care about her! <gasps> oh. You... Oh. What? 
Uh, no, I, I, I mean, I, I have a lot of respect for her as a co-worker. <laughs> well, that's enough of that. Got me. You sure there'll be no risk to Saurikun? Absolutely. I have a plan. Which is what exactly? I'll tell you once we get there. First, I need to know. If <laughs> I've got a plan. If I can help him expose the truth, then. It's what the investigation calls for. Sorry, son. <laughs> I want to avenge Shitani Sensei's death, too. <laughs> Thank you. Don't have time we? to lose. Since when was it we? If this is really what Sorry san wants, I'll do everything in my power to help her. Uh-huh. Oh, we'll need another makeover, right? <laughs> I'll go this time. Mind if we use the same salon? Sure, but I was thinking she'd be a journalist this time, not a hostess. A journalist? Really? Think about it. Your mark is inside the ADDC, right? You'll be able to get him alone much more naturally if you go in asking for an interview. Uh-huh. Hey. And you'll need to dress the part. I'm talking high skirts and low cuts. That'll bring out the worst oh, of any old ledge. Baby. Now we're talking. I'll take that over a hostess any day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I have some things I need to take care of. Can you head to the ADDC once you're done with your makeup, sorry, son? We'll meet there. Okay. See you soon. We should be going too, sorry, son. Let's get you that makeover. Right. She can't ever dress it. She always has to get a makeover. Here we are, sorry, son. She can't just get Hair her makeup salon, done. Cherry. Needs everything done over. I'm honestly a little nervous. Why is he nervous? Didn't I already do this when I was a hostess? Sure, but everything's different this time. Sorry, son, the journalist. An intellectual beauty. Classy, worldly. What guy wouldn't fall for that? <laughs> Don't give me that look. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to stare. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be stunning no matter how much makeup you wear. And if I disappoint you? Well, that's just not possible. <laughs> I hope you're right. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I have to do this fucking shit again. You're a goddess, Salry san. Just incredible. That off limits allure, that mature aura. <laughs> Are you going to stop soon? Sorry. I just I got a little excited. Well, I'm ready to go. I can take it from here. <laughs> so independent, too. No, <laughs> sorry. I'll stop now. Oh my god. Well, Salry san. So uh, mature and independent. Don't push yourself, okay? If things get dangerous, just run. I do care, but don't panic. I've got Young this. Young said I'll be safe, though. Well, yeah, your life might not be in danger, but what if Keto tries to, you know, cop a feel or something? <laughs> if that's what needs to happen, that's what will happen. Whoa. What? Whoa. what? I should be going. Sorry, son. No. By the way, Hoshinokun. Sorry! Yeah? Thank you for complimenting my makeup. It felt... nice. What? <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, sorry, son. Yes? Take this with you. It's a hidden camera. A what? I suppose for this to work, we need physical proof. See, this is the lens. Any footage it takes will get sent to my phone in real time. Whoa. Here, wear this earpiece too. I'll give you some conversation pointers while you're in there. Oh? Yeah. This time you'll need to be seductive with the words you say, not just your looks. Uh-oh. So... You're going to give me tips, Yagami-san? 
I'd appreciate that. Wait, really? Of course. Knowing how to woo man isn't exactly my specialty. To woo man? Also, what happens after I seduce him? Oh. Once Keto starts coming on to you, we'll catch it all on the camera. Meaning there will be evidence of his sexual harassment. Harassment? Yeah. Your job will be done at that point. All we'll need to do after that is use the footage to lure him to Comrade Joe. Blackmailing, hmm? Uh, no, no. Secretly recording sexual harassment and blackmailing him? This is a rush. Think you can handle it? Don't worry. The more perverted things Keto does, the more he'll suffer later. Oh. Yeah, I guess. I'd rather keep his hands off of me as much as possible, though. That'll be on you and your direction, Yagami-san. Uh-oh. Right. Anyway, you should head in. Yeah, there's just no way that he ever doesn't do anything weird. Can you hear me, Sari-san? First, you're gonna want to go to the reception desk. Ask the lady there if you can interview Kido. Just make something up about wanting more details on 89. Sounds good. Welcome, ma'am. Do you have an appointment? No. No. I was wondering if Director Kido would be available for an interview. And you are? A freelance journalist by the name of Shirasaki. I wanted to speak with him about 89. I'm terribly sorry, ma'am. I can't let you in without an appointment. Oh, I see. In that case, um... Don't be afraid to press the issue, Sarizan. I, um... Director Kido is a very busy man. I'm sure you understand. It won't take long, I assure you. And I can wait if need be. Even so... Please, can I at least see Kido-san and ask him myself? I'm sorry, ma'am. We decline all requests without a prior appointment. Oh, I think I could make an exception for such a pretty girl. Uh-oh. Huh? I'm Kido, the director of this center. I hear you want to interview me. So, this is Kido. Uh, yes. My name is Shirosaki. Shirosaki-san, hmm? Come, I'll show you to my office. A beautiful woman like yourself deserves VIP treatment. Oh, goodness. Are you sure, sir? Thank you very much. Ugh, Kido-san. <laughs> no, he's not even trying to hide it. Not that I'm complaining. Huh. He doesn't even care. Oh my god. Please the come in. Office. Wow, this is your office? Jesus. Breathtaking. I love how spacious it is. Oh, <laughs> no need to flatter me, though I do get quite a few compliments. Please, take a seat. Sorry, I son. get quite a few. Table. You really must excuse me. I should have made an appointment instead of just showing up on your doorstep. Move it a little to the right, about 15 degrees. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Would you care for a drink, Shirosaki-san? Oh, I'll show you a glass of brandy. There's one I found recently that's truly top shelf. Uh-oh. He isn't even trying to hide his ulterior motives. Normally, I just give him my usual silent glare. Wait, I, there's three stars. With pleasure. Well, sure. I'll have some. It's a special occasion oh after all. Oh my god. Here you are. I think I'm going to enjoy this interview. Look at that leg. Good job, sorry, son. Keep it up. Binoculus. To a wonderful interview. Yes, to the interview. Mmm. Delicious. Really warms you up deep in your core, right? Yes. Oh, you know. Undo another button, sorry, son. <laughs> <laughs> Is something the matter? Oh, um, no, it's just getting a little toasty in here. Oh. So. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> yes, I am. What the fuck? More. Good going. He's taking the bait. Now then, <clears throat> what is this interview about? 
How about you interview me? What the fuck? <laughs> Nita keeps the interview rolling, which means asking questions that pique Kido's interest. I feel like this one would be the best. I yeah. want to know every little detail about you. Oh. <laughs> You're not here to discuss 89. You're more interesting than some stuffy old drug. Oh, Jesus. I see. This is better than I was expecting. Stuffy and so, old. will you tell me, big boy? Oh, my. Oh, there's a lot I could say. I, I'm just not sure I should say it here. Huh? But it's just the two of us. You can do whatever you want. Oh, you're even more aggressive than I expected. <laughs> Not yet. Work comes first. <laughs> yes, I uh, suppose the real fun can wait until later. Well played, Sarisan. Now then. Uh, where were we? You should get this over with as quick as possible. <clears throat> oh, God. Make your move, Sarisan. Hmm. In that case... What the... I told myself I'd, I'd do anything if it meant Eight bringing kills. these monsters to justice. Right now that means getting Keto to show his true nature. Oh god. Stroke his chin. Undo another button. Or sexually cross your legs. Hmm. I don't know. Is it legs though? Yeah, what the fuck does the chin do? <laughs> There's no way I'd actually do it, right? Yeah, that's fucking weird. Siki, please, I bricked up. <laughs> I, dude. I, fuck it. Oh, it's oh! getting so steamy in here. Don't you think? Yes, yes, I'm burning up. I totally agree with you. Huh? Wait, sorry, son. Are you really gonna keep going? Oh my god! Wait. Uh, that's better. <laughs> sorry, son. It's, uh, it kind of seems like you're enjoying that. <laughs> uh, he's the worst. How's this? Just wonderful. I think that's enough photos for now. Alright, sorry, son. You're good. Wrap it up. Booba. How did Hand they turn out? touch? Shoulder oh, touch? Do you want to... ah! <gasps> You're right in the frame. The legendary the perfect backup. hover Stay butt. Strong, sorry, son. Oh my. Easy for him to say. This is so gross. Ugh. Oh, you've made me a very happy man today. When we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. <laughs> well, um... What the fuck? <laughs> well, mm -mm, let's How keep it dinner tonight? professional. That's perfect. Draw him out. Okay. Let's do it in Camarocho. Camarocho? Um, how about somewhere else? I, I'd rather stay close by. I know a good place. Oh, I think I can convince you. Hmm. How so? You'll see. What? Is that it? Walks away? Ooh, keep some guessing.
man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Minx? Is it just me? Or did Sari san start getting weirdly into that whole thing at some point? <laughs> yeah, she was, uh, it's kind of scaring me towards the end. Anyway, you think Kido's actually gonna show? He'd be a fool not to. I just sent him the footage under Sari san's name. Said we'd put it online if he didn't show. <laughs> Guess he doesn't have a choice then. Where'd you tell him to go? The batting center. Sugira and Higashi went ahead to keep an eye on the place. What's gotten into you, man? I don't know if I've ever seen you this organized. I can't afford to take my time with this. Okubo-kun's execution date is coming up fast. Yeah, good point. Come on, we should go. Burp. Burn Let's it. roll, talk. Oh, bitch. What the fuck? How did I smack him? In the dick. It's Sugira. Hey, what's up? Bring in the van around. You see me? Uh, hmm? Where? Oh. There he is. Yo. What? Is that forget how to use my Welcome fucking aboard. hands or what? Where's Higashi? <laughs> Already inside. I haven't noticed anything weird out here. Kido should be showing up any minute. And what happens when he does? We'll shove him in the van and drag him over to Charles. What? Higashi's arcade? It's not like we had a lot of time to think about it. We'll interrogate him once we get there. Right, Yagami-san? Yep. And speak of the devil. Surprised he actually showed. Are we bringing Sauris on, or...? Alright, let's move out. Finally, a girl shows interest in him after ten, 27 years. Uh-oh. What are you doing here? Not sure what you mean. My agency is just a couple blocks away. It's strange to see you here, though. What brings you out to Kamrocho? <laughs> well, I... Maybe uh, I, uh... meeting a seductive journalist? Oh? I understand now. You're the ones behind all this. What will you do with that video? Nothing. If you give us what we want. What is it, money? No, we're after something else entirely. What are you going to do to me? We're just taking you for a little trip. <laughs> no. No, I'm afraid you're not. Hmm? Oh, my. What? You fuck? forget. I'm a powerful man. Huh. Who are these assholes? Health Random Ministry hobos? thugs, if I had to guess. Huh. Do they have them all over the city or something? Delete that video, Yakami! Oh my god. Uh. Alright, down. Oh shit, what the hell?
Who the fuck are you? You almost got us, man. <laughs> Look where all that power got you. Nobody's running to help now. Not the ADDC, not the Ministry of Health. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. Uh -oh. If you kill me, Think what will happen to 89. Their research will come to a screeching halt. We're not coming to kill you, bro. Don't worry. Nobody's killing anybody. But I suggest you learn a little humility. I never said it wouldn't hurt you. Uh-oh. Come on. We're out of here. You go feel some real pain, boy. Oh. Man, it's been a while since I did something like this. Feels good getting back in the groove, you know? You always did have a habit of stripping them down. <laughs> well, yeah. Everyone's the same underneath all this bullshit. <laughs> Scientist, doctor, whatever. Listen here. Nice underwear. It's not too late for you. But if you don't release me... You'll have your assassin hunt us down? I'll take extensive legal action against you. Oh, huh. Who knows what'd happen if you did that? I might accidentally let that video loose to the press. <laughs> what? What? If that doesn't sound good to you, start talking. You're gonna tell us everything you know about 89. <sighs> everything. Why me? What do you people want? What's he got to say? Who are those guys at the batting center? Well, I... <laughs> you mentioned how powerful you are. Did you hire them to protect you? <sighs> Out with it already. Quit acting like you got any goddamn dignity. You've made me a very happy man today. <laughs> Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Who would have thought minx. the scientist who was going to save the world would turn out to be some pervy asshole? Your name's going to go down in history if this gets out. And not how you're hoping. Stop. I'm begging you, please. Stop. Who are those thugs at the batting center? Hitman. On the Ministry of Health payroll. Ichinose's payroll, in other words. That's right. I think you mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ichinose-san knows I've been abducted. More of them could rush in here at any minute if you don't release me. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, we've got this whole fighting thing pretty down by now <sighs> next question it's about what happened three years ago huh? an Alzheimer's patient at the ADDC by the name of Wakusan was murdered his body found buried far out in the mountains yep at the time Shinpei Okubo was thought to be the killer but the truth is it was an unforeseen consequence of 89 which Shono had administered to this Wakusan you knew didn't you What? Did he? Cat got your tongue? Guess you're about to become internet famous then. <sighs> Wait! Answer me, Keto! Yes. I knew. Ooh! Who told you? When? How? I'm sorry. I can't say any more than that. If I did, I. Please just give me some time to figure things out. Time's one thing I don't have. Shinpei Okubo's about to get executed for a murder he didn't commit. What? Huh? I need to get every last bit of information out of you right here. 
I'll even resort to torture if I have to. Torture? You'd break the law over this? Break the law? What? That doesn't sound fun to you? Of course not! Then start talking! <laughs> Nobody's gonna come help you now. Smoke. I'll give you a chance to think it over. You better be ready by the time I come back. Kido's already a broken man. My guess? At this point, he's just desperate to save his own skin. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe you should take a breather. I'm sure giving Kido some time to stool will make him realize talking's the only option. We'll keep an eye on him in the meantime. A breather? Thanks, Sukiura. I appreciate it. Hey, what? even a guy like you needs to take breaks. You've been up and out all freaking day. We'll keep tabs on Keto. You go relax a bit. The fuck do you want me to do, huh? Gamble? I'm gonna go lose all my money? I don't really have any money to lose, actually. Split threes and double down? Dude, let's fucking go. I don't have any money, man. I'm going back in. To go, Yagami san. Hell yeah. Whoops. Ready to talk yet? We're waiting. <laughs> yes. Three years ago, Shono killed a patient by experimenting on him with 89. When did you find out? Right after the press conference. The one where we announced 89 to the world. Shono told me himself. Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. Even after all this time. Let's hear it. I have some concerns about 89. At the moment, it's only effective on mice. I'm well aware of that, yes. But I'm confident it will work on humans, too. No. I'm afraid you're mistaken. What's this now? We just had a fantastic conference. This is no time for doom and gloom. Just sit back and try to relax. You deserve it. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, Ichinose was thrilled with what he saw. One day we're almost getting shut down, the next we have a massive budget. And if you can make consistent progress, AD9 will head to clinical... At this stage, I'm afraid clinical trials would be inadvisable. If we try, all the test subjects will die. Are you sure? How can you say that with such confidence, huh? Shinpei Okubo was actually innocent. Oh! What? Innocent? Why are you bringing this up now? The court ruled correctly. Waku-san, his murder didn't play out like you think it did. The real cause of death was Me. none other than 89. What do you mean? That murder was... It was a secret clinical trial for 89. I gave him the injection personally. <gasps> you did what? Please, I... I had to take this opportunity. The whole world is waiting for this cure. No. But when I injected him... He let out the most horrible scream. These hands covered his mouth. I tried to make him shut up. Which 
Which means you... You're a murderer. <laughs> You're a murderer. <laughs> How could you be such a damn fool? What are we going to do? Shono, I just spent the entire afternoon talking up your drug to the press. With my goddamn name on the research! Uh -oh. If you hadn't held that press conference, the ADDC would have been done for and you- Why didn't you tell me this before? I needed you, Dr. Kido. I couldn't let the center get shut down. The AD-9 project would have been terminated. But you know, this has been my entire life's work, ensuring that AD-9 would save the world. <sighs> this whole thing is preposterous. I'm going to the press! There's no need for that. Uh -oh. <gasps> Don't you understand, Director? As long as we finish AD-9's development, there won't be any issues. Your name will go down in history as the man who saved the world. Not to mention the money. The money? But if you really insist on revealing the truth, both of our careers would go down the drain. And you have more to lose. Ooh! Director. Jesus! So no. You're mad. The psycho comes out. Is that all Shono told you? There's gotta be more. <laughs> Wakusan wasn't the only person Shono killed, was he? No. He needed Shinpei Okubo to take the fall. And murdered Emi Terasawa to accomplish that. No! You did no! Know. Hey! <clears throat> Save it, Sugira. We're not done yet. Not Emmy. We got him right where we want him. He won't hide anything anymore. What happened next? After Shono killed Emmy. <laughs> Don't you already know? You had Hashki murdered. I didn't! It wasn't me! Hashki was digging around, trying to find something wrong with 89. You and Shono didn't like that too much. But you needed some help to take care of him. Someone else who wanted to protect 89. That person was... The man Shono and Kido asked for help in protecting 89 was... Amura. Yes. Hamura from the Matsugane family. Hmm? No. That was before I knew any Yakuza. Exactly. In that case, it was... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Show me what you showed me. Ichinose from the Ministry of Health. <gasps> the guy who founded the ADDC made it a place all the old guard ministry execs could retire to. Yes. Shono and I went to Ichinose san and pleaded with him to help us. After all, he's known for being well versed in political matters, both above board and Otherwise, so we told him everything about Wakusan dying in the experiment, about Emi Terasawa, every last detail. Without hesitation, Ichinose san agreed to help us with the cover up. According to him, protecting AD9 was top priority. Hence, why he decided to silence Hashki. Shinose-san knew he was Kajihira's spy from the start, and acted accordingly. Meaning he's the one who first dragged Hamura and Kuroiwa into this bullshit. Real barrel of fucking monkeys. With Hashki out of the way, all that was left for us to do was complete 89. 
But we realized something. If we entered clinical trials and another patient died, our dream too would be dead. The ADDC would be no more. And all our sacrifices would have been for nothing. Your sacrifices? How can you say that with a straight face? You're not the ones who died for some bullshit drug! Fake ass <laughs> drug. Rat drug. Rat dementia. Go on. Alzheimer's cure. Through all my hesitation, Shono kept pushing. Aggressive to a damn fault. He said we couldn't be afraid of failure if we really wanted to finish 89. That we needed to keep experimenting until we succeeded. We also speed up development. Was to keep conducting clinical trials in secret. Shona was adamant about that. Why? Think about it. If we could hide the fact that our subjects were dying, we could continue experimenting despite the risks. In order to do so, we needed a way to quickly procure and discard test subjects. With that, it would only be a matter of time until AD-9 was complete. And those test subjects were the Kyore clan men. Ichinosi-san listened to every single one of Shono's requests. My only role in all of this was obtaining the funds required. And so, money flowed into the ADDC from the Ministry of Health. Money which I gave to Shono. Allowing him to build a secret lab in Kamarocho. Who? A uh, what? Yeah. It's where he carries out all of his human experiments. Huh? And we were mentioned a secret lab for doing these human experiments back at Hamoran. Where exactly is this lab? I'm not sure of the specific location. I try not to come between Shono and Ichinose-san unless absolutely necessary. So that lab is where all the killings happen, where those Kyori guys were slaughtered. If anywhere's gonna have evidence, it's there. You sure you don't know where it is? Detective Kuroyo Atwood, of course. He's not as talkative as you, though. They didn't say he never leaves the office. There was another person involved in setting up the lab. The mole. Who? A subordinate of Ichinose-san. I believe his name was Ishimatsu. I've heard that name before. He was the middleman between Hamura and Shono. Where is this Ishimatsu guy? In Kamorocha. There's a Ministry of Health office up in the Millennium Tower. Apparently, he'll be in tonight. Wait, the Millennium Tower? That's where they oversee Shono's secret lab. Nobody knows the office is there. The sign out front even has a different name. They really got a place like that? Well, Ishimatsu knows where the lab is, yeah? This'll be easy. <laughs> Just gotta strip him down and force him to talk. Hold up. I've got a better idea. Strip him. First, we give this Ichimatsu guy some kind of reason to go to the lab. Then we just follow him from the Millennium Tower. Not bad. Ishimatsu himself will lead us straight there. Another stalking mission? But how are we gonna get him to go? Ooh! Well, we'll, uh... We'll get our buddy Kido here to give him a call. Huh? Say something about how we're closing in on the lab. Tell him you need him over there to stand guard. You know, that might just work. Like what? You think I'll just agree to this? You better. If you don't want to spread in your little video, that is. Spreading your <sighs> cheeks, bitch. That settles it then. What does Ishimatsu look like? Uh, he's in his 50s. Always wears a gray suit. A sh short man. Not that much over five feet. Ah, ah, and he always wears gloves. That could be any regular ass old dude in this town. <laughs> Anything else? There may be photos of him on the internet. You seriously telling us to just 
search him? Yes. Er, uh, well, not exactly. Try looking up Vice Minister Ichinose. Ishimatsu might have ended up in a photo of his at some point. Hmm, gotcha. Could take a while, but I should be able to find something. Kaito, Higashi. Mind hanging back here with Kido? Sure. What about me, then? You get to tail Ishimatsu with me. You're good at that kind of stuff, right? Tailing so, time. Yeah. Well, let's head to the Millennium Tower. Be safe, you two. I'll send you a shot of Ishimatsu once I've got one. Great. Let's move out. Let me get some water. Let's go, Yagami-san. We're back. Ah, this is the Millennium Tower, I see. Where'd you disappear to? What? Bitch. Yeah. Oh my god. Shorts? Short shorts? Jesus. Hello? Yo, it's Kaito. I just sent you the photo. Later. Oh, so this the creepy is Ishimatsu, guy. Huh? Gray suit, gloves. Gray suit. You should be able to old. tell when he's leaving from here. Gloves. Once he takes bald. us there, we'll be ready to raid the lab. You good to go? Yeah, we're in position, Kaito-san. Tell Kido to make the call. Gotcha. It's time for your big acting debut, buddy. You there, Tak? Kido's call went off without a hitch. Ishimatsu's on the move. Great. Now we just have to find him and follow him. Don't fuck this up, man. Don't worry. Me and Sugira got it covered. Don't fuck this up, dude. Here we go. Suspicious. Middle-aged man. Gay suit. Hey. Middle age, gray suit, talking on the phone, wears gloves, no gloves. I see him. There he is. Ah! Oh my god, he's walking straight at me. What the fuck? Gray suit, gloves, that's him. That's him. Legendary creeper music. There you go. Dude, this one feels so much more natural rather than like the troll ass one no like most of the st stalking like mission starts is like it starts up the creepy music and then like I walk up behind them like hands in pockets like like two inches behind them it's really fucking troll but then this one like actually felt real where like I'm actually at a I'm a far distance and I'm chilling until they walk past me. Mm -hmm. ah! I mean okay, I agree with this. I'm talking exclusively about like the start of the stalking mission. He's going straight back in the building. Hold up. Ah, uh, but now he's leaving. PUE shirt, but play RGG game. What the hell is an RGG? Uh, he's really on guard. Yeah. Thankfully, that makes him stand out even more. Ryu Gagutoku? Wait, what the fuck? Ah! 
I was reading chat! Damn it. You fucking baited me. What the hell? Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh. The secret lab? Disappears. Monsieur Lee? Hotel? It's a love hotel that closed down years ago. Perfect place to set up a mad scientist lab. Oh. Is it now? Kaito-san, it's me. You find the place? We've got a building that looks the part, at least. We're gonna head in. Be careful, man. Yep. Let's do it. Right. You going? Mugwort? Jeez, it's dark. What's the deal with this place? Hey, do you think this counts as trespassing? <laughs> More or less. Nah, bruh. What the? Who the hell are you? Yagami-san, what do we do? Only one thing to do. We fight. Random street thugs. the guards maybe or just innocent but random those civilians the last from if anything that was just a welcoming party they'll know we're here too probably have weapons next time guns worst case scenario who are these guys anyway bums off the street if i had to guess <laughs> ichinose must have offered them a lot to do this literal hobos yo you guys okay in there Yep, we're right on track. They've got guards, too. There's gotta be something here. Something like a secret lab, maybe? It'd be the perfect place. It's so dark, you could carry a corpse in here and nobody'd ever know. Think you two can Jesus. handle it on your own? Are the two of us going to be able to get evidence of the secret lab by ourselves? Actually, I just thought of something. Can you call Mafuyu for me? Get her over here, and tell her to bring the cops. Huh? Why? Well, think about it. We're trespassing, yeah? Even if we do stumble on Shono's secret lab, the court would never accept evidence found illegally. And calling the cops makes it all fucking better? <laughs> Not exactly. Even they can't investigate without a warrant. Then why the hell are you trying to get Mafia shot over there? I've got an idea. Just talk to Mafia for me, okay? We'll keep looking for the lab. An yeah. idea. Ugh, it's dark. Hold on. We shouldn't go in there without a light. Should turn it on. Oh. Who knows what's gonna be in here? Let's be careful. Oh my god, it's a fucking zombie game now. What? Random buff as fuck dudes? Oh my god! It's worse than zombies! Oh shit. 
What the fuck's in here? Damn it. I stepped in a puddle. A piss. For a door that doesn't even open. Didn't I tell you to be careful? I really like these shoes, too. Three lights? Are you telling me? It's a puzzle. Okay, I have some massage machine? What the f Hold up. I like massages. Wow, that looks really safe to walk through. Oh, nice. Keep it down, Sukira. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Sorry, sorry. What the hell? <laughs> what is it this time? Sugira? Huh? This isn't funny, man. Where are you? Don't tell me it was that ninja. Damn it. What the fuck, dude? Almost there. Nice. Almost there. Nice. Perfect. What the fuck? Hey! Segura! I just see I'm trying to have some fun here! Hey! You can't do that! Three minutes! <laughs> and he's just another body! Three minutes? Come here, pussy. I give you about uh, 12 seconds. Would you last I up there? One, man. Being hung. <laughs> Don't mention it. Come on, let's keep going. Special police baton. Well, I got fucking straightener. What the hell? How do you like this? Why did you have a ball gag in? Now's my chance. Oh, nice. I randomly had that. What's up, man? Oh, 
shit. Hangman, what the fuck? Wait, is this ass exposed? Hold up. <laughs> I was going to heal, but uh, I seem to have paused on his ass. Exposed buff? Ass buff? I see. Ah, but of course. The giga ass. End of the line. What the hell? The Sex Human Experiment Dungeon. Holy fuck, it's the chair. The hell is this? This is it. This has to be Shono's secret lab. Hey, what the hell? <gasps> you two, what are you? Shono. I didn't think I'd find you working at the scene of the crime. Guess our timing's pretty good. Uh oh. Sugura. Get some video of this place. Mm -hmm. uh, stop that! So, all those Yakuza who got their eyes gouged out, you did it here, huh? Can't wait to see what turns up. The cops are gonna have a field day in this place. The victim's fingerprints, hair, bodily fluids, DNA. Can you imagine just how long I've been waiting to see evidence like this come to light? I... I don't know what you're... Huh? Huh? Uh, 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 Segura, what's wrong? I'm sorry, Yagami-san. Huh? I've been lying to you about everything all along, until now. What do you mean by that? I'm not actually ex Kajihira. That wasn't the truth. Neither was my name. Yagami-san, I... I actually know you from a long time ago. That's the whole reason I approached you. My real name, Yagami-san? Fumia Terasawa. Terasawa? Oh? I'm the younger brother of Emi, who this bastard murdered. Wait, don't kill him. Sugiro! Nobody move! You in the hood! Drop the knife! Now!
You're under arrest for attempted murder. <laughs> the cuffs won't be necessary. He's no longer a threat. That's awkward timing. Don't worry about your friend. We won't bother prosecuting him. Oh, yeah? No crime was committed here. But, sir, we can't just... Shut up. You need to get forensics in here. There's a good chance a series of murders took place in this very room. And what brings you to say that? Keto told me about it. Unfortunately, we'll need a stronger premise than that. They would never issue a warrant on such grounds. <laughs> well, then it's a good thing I have a better reason lined up. Which is what? Trespassing charges against a rogue ex-lawyer. Which makes this... a crime scene. Oh... Guess you'll have to block it off. Preserve the evidence, you know? Yagami-kun. How clever. You don't mind being arrested if it means helping your investigation. Genius. I suppose this was your plan from the start. That's why you had Fujikun get the police involved. <laughs> you surprise me. Out of the way! Let me through! Vice Minister Ichinose! Uh oh. This place is under the Ministry of Health's jurisdiction. I demand you leave here at once. Huh. I didn't realize you guys were in the love hotel business, Vice Minister. It's a laboratory. Our top secret research facility for AD9. You have no idea of the fallout this could cause. Then let's kind, find out. Kinda true. If you didn't notice, I just trespassed. Meaning, this whole laboratory is a crime scene now. Isn't that right? Hmm. Uh-oh. I'm not sure that's going to work, Yagami-san. At least four people were murdered in here. I'm sure of it. The proof's right here in this room. So please, I'm begging you to help me here. What a conundrum. You see, none of that is my concern. Huh? What? Hey, you should be thanking your lucky stars we haven't beaten the crap out of you by now. <laughs> <sighs> Shit, almost makes you feel bad for the poor guy. What? <laughs> Even if he deserves it. You smoke? <laughs> Man, you're as soft as ever, Kaito Anaki. <sighs> Who the hell is that? Uh oh. <laughs> Hi. Oh, God. Humor me. According to you, this is a secret research facility for AD9. Yes, Vice Minister? That's correct. Hmm. Our nation's government has invested countless resources into AD9. It would seem rather foolish if we were to stop its momentum over this. I'm willing to overlook it for 89's sake. What? But, sir... Huh. Many thanks. Truly, I am in your debt. So every motherfucker's paid off in this goddamn house. Of course, Vice Minister. Now, everyone is to evacuate the premises at once. I hope you can continue your research into 89 without any more disturbances. Let me assure you, Dr. Shono, this will not happen again. Is that so? Meaning... You're working for 89 too, aren't you, Chief Prosecutor? What's he gonna say? <sighs> What the fuck 
is that? Matt fucking Mercer, man. Jesus. I mean, it technically is a research facility. <laughs> you ain't wrong. Wait, what are they doing? Am I getting an interview? It's time for you to go home, Yagami-san. Just how long have you and Morita been working together? AD9 has many influential supporters. There's no stopping our momentum. Bullshit, there's not. I am not gonna let you win that easy. Ah, oh yes. I should let you know that I just received a call from Director Kido. Kuroiwa sends his regards. Kuroiwa? Uh -oh. Apparently, he rescued Kido. He's been freed. Local thugs have made Kamurocho too dangerous for him. How the hell? Finale. Down came the rain. The AD-9 conspiracy entangled the ADDC's director, Kido, the same man who had unveiled it to the world. An unfinished drug that exacted human sacrifice. Yagami believed he had finally found definitive proof. But even that was swallowed by the darkness. Swallowed. All for the greater good of a drug that would save humanity. Guys, I've been up for 14 fucking hours. What do you mean finish it? I gotta wake up at like 1.30 or 1 tomorrow. You look worse than I was expecting. I hear Kuroiwa paid you a visit. Yep. Just him and that baton he's got. Beat the shit out of us. He took Kido too. How'd things go with your stuff? We found Shono's lab, but the police are basically refusing to investigate it. Why? Chief Prosecutor Morita's defending 89. You for real? Whatever yeah, evidence was there is probably long gone by now. Yagami-san. Right. There's something else I need to tell you, too. What is it? This have something to do with Sugiura? Yeah, huh. um... That's not actually his name. Huh? Huh? So you're Emi Terasawa's little brother, huh? Why'd you keep it a secret? He puts on the mask. At first, I wanted to make Yagami-san remember. Remember what? How he let my sister suffer. Oh. In my eyes, he was a scumbag who let a murderer walk. The murderer who then burned Emi to death. Damn, that's heavy. From Sagira's point of view, my actions directly led to Emmy's death. Go on. You don't have to hold back. Back then? I was just a shut-in fuck-up. My life was in shambles. Emmy was still there for me, though. When nobody else was. And then... Somebody murdered her. 
someone as nice as Emmy. And then I put on the mask. Dead. For no reason. But the world doesn't stop for that shit. It just keeps turning. And people go about their business. Over time, I started to hate what our whole society stood for. Oh my god. So I'm guessing society? that's what led you to start that burglary <laughs> ring? Pretty much. At the very least, I didn't want to keep living my life for other people. You know, when Emmy died, Nagami san didn't apologize. Not to me, or to my parents. So that's when you guys first met, huh? Yep. We looked totally different back then, though. Had glasses and long hair, so couldn't really see my face. That's why I didn't recognize you. Defending a murderer, you're just as guilty as he is. Those words cut deeper than you probably could have imagined. <laughs> Even so, Okubo insisted he didn't do it. Since I was his lawyer, I couldn't apologize. That would essentially be admitting he was guilty. What about after the trial? I didn't apologize then, either. Instead... Fucking apology. Away, put it all behind me. Right. You didn't just walk away. You practically got this bar. At least Okubo was getting the death penalty. It didn't feel good, but... I settled for that. Then why'd you start hanging around Talk again? Because he found his way back to the courtroom to deal with all this mole business. He even got a Yakuza captain off the hook. Well, it's not like I suddenly just became a lawyer again. It sure seemed that way from my perspective. So, I wanted to see where your head was at. Find out if you'd forgotten what you did to Emmy. If you were gonna pretend like nothing happened, I'd make you remember. And I'd make you pay for it. Oh! And that's why you approached me. Yup. I wanted to know what Okubo was up to, too. Find out if he was as afraid of death as he should have been. If anyone was gonna go see him, it was you. But now, it's looking more and more likely Okubo was framed. And I never would have known if I hadn't teamed up with you. Ironic, huh? Sigir was still doubting me even as we worked together. Three years later, the real killer's finally clear. And now it turns out, Shono, he's the one leading the charge to cure Alzheimer's. He gets to go down in history as a hero? For what? Stabbing my sister to death? Burning her body? That's what I'm saying. It's Don't fucked worry. up. Everyone will see him for who he really is once the truth gets out. You weren't there today. The whole fucking system is protecting him. He bent the truth, suppressed evidence right in front of me. What's the point of fighting that kind of battle, huh? It's bullshit! You saw it too, right, Yagami-san? Right? Brimstone for the glasses guy. <laughs> Ever since Emmy Chan died, I've been running away from the truth. I was worried. Worried I wasn't gonna like what I found, that maybe I was responsible for her death. It was killing me. I couldn't bring myself to face it all. Talk. If you ask me, everyone has something they're trying to hide from themselves. <laughs> But sometimes, facing your fears is the only way forward. The real reason you came to me is because deep down, you wanted to know the truth. True. That sound about right? still true we have our work cut out for us we're gonna chase the truth as far as we can even if it's in vain yeah but all our paths are blocked 
Who the hell cares? We'll blaze our own path then. Right, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are out of your goddamn minds. That's Mafuyu. What's up, Mafuyu? I need to speak with you about Morita. Wait, you're still here in town? Yes. I'm waiting at Tender. Do you think you could come meet me here? I... I think I'm being followed. Everyone just what? beat the fuck up. It felt like someone was watching me all the way to the bar. I don't believe I'm imagining it. Uh oh. More of those bums the Ministry of Health hired? No. Or maybe one of the chief prosecutor's men. All right, I'll be right over. Thank you. I'm coming with. Jesus. Higashi, fuck. keep an eye on Sugiura while we're gone. Huh? Why do. <sighs> Fine. Let's roll, talk. All right, lads. We'll stop here.